With every project that you do, either for yourself or for a paying client, you'll find that you'll have to tweak things. And that's exactly what we have to do with this character. Now, in the last movie, what I did was I showed you that the guns aren't exactly where they belong. And we also noticed that the hips don't look quite right. We can actually adjust this and get rid of some of these lines here. So I'm going to show you how we're going to tweak some of these elements right now. The first thing I'm going to do is show you that if I go ahead and choose the revolver, and this is the revolver in the right hand, it's behind the hand. But we don't have to move it here. What we can do is right click on the revolver and choose a range and bring forward. And that brings the revolver in front of the hand. Let's go ahead and do the same thing for the other revolver. I'll choose the revolver, I'll right click, and we'll go to arrange, bring forward. The same can be said for the head. The head is currently behind the chest a little bit too much. So I'm going to go to the head, and what I could do is right click and choose to bring that forward. And now that's in front of the chest. I'm going to hit return so we can check out the arrangement of our element so far. Now it looks much better. Now as I said before, the only thing that doesn't look quite right is the hip. So we're going to go ahead and get an eraser and erase these black lines right here on the hips. So let's go to our drawing view. Let me go ahead and move these tools over because we're going to need those guys. And I'll move this down so we can extend this whole thing. And I'm going to go to my view menu and choose reset view and go to my drawing view here. And what I'm going to do as well is let me get my timeline back out here. So I can then choose the body part that we want to tweak, which are the hips. So let me go ahead and scroll down, choose hips. And I want the hip artwork. And there it is. Let's grab the eraser tool. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. And we're going to simply erase the parts of the hips that we don't want to see. And that's the beautiful thing about working on the computer. You can always fix things that are in your way or that don't quite work right. And, you know, you're never really stuck. And if you mess up, just undo. Let's go ahead and get rid of some of this area here. And we'll erase up to right about there. And right about there. And I'm going to return to my camera view. And as you see, it looks a little bit better. It still needs a little bit more work. So I'm going to return to the drawing view. And I'm going to erase some more out. Now the hips aren't going to move. That's the cool thing about this character. So every character is going to be different. And you have to determine what parts you want to change. Okay, so far that looks good. I can still get rid of some more of these hips. Instead of using the arrange menu like I showed you earlier. We could we could easily put the hips back for, uh, in behind a body part. We could put it behind the legs. But I just want to show you that you can always fix things if things don't quite turn out the way you want them to. So every tutorial that I do for VTC, I make sure that I make some serious mistakes on purpose because there's nothing worse than, you know, watching a tutorial and then, you know, something goes wrong. You don't know how to fix it. So you're like, all right, oh man, what do I do? So I'm showing you, you're never stuck. You can just think your way through it. Now that works great. Now we can see the lines in the pants. We can continue the race if we want to, but we don't really need to at this point. So what we've done is we've used the arrange menu to get the guns where they belong, the head where it belongs, and then by returning to our drawing view, we were able to easily tweak the way the element is as far as the paint to get rid of it so we can see the artwork beneath it. So tweaking is a critical stage in any project you work on. It's very rare that you work on something from start to finish and not have to make any adjustments at all. So if you want to, look at the character and determine uh, on your own what you'd like to fix or change by the character. You can change the color, you can do whatever you need to, but the next parts we're going to deal with are the animation parts and the pivots. So that won't really affect anything else that we're going to be doing coming up. So have a good time with this character.